What is the secret to successful dating, especially in the early stages? I believe it is all about how we communicate about the important things. But when you're just beginning to date, it can be confusing about what is appropriate to bring up. You're trying to get to know and understand each other, but what if they are texting too much or too little? Is it needy or pushy to bring that up to say anything? What if you're unsure about what they're looking for? How do you find out without coming across as too serious early on? Or that you want to have a relationship with them when you don't even know if you do? You want to know how their last relationship ended because you want to know if they have learned and grown from that relationship. But when and how do you ask that question? That's what I'm going to be talking about today. Here are five secrets to successful dating. The first secret is knowing when and what to text. At the beginning stages of connecting with a stranger that you have met on a dating app, communication relies on texting. Relationships can begin and end due to texting mistakes or poor texting technique. And that's why I believe in the following five texting principles. Number one, women make the first move in online dating. Don't passively wait for men to find you and text you. Find someone you like and send the first message. Otherwise, you just get whatever falls into your net and it's most probably not gonna be what you really want. Number two, keep messages interesting and open-ended. Instead of saying, hi, nice to meet you, which so many people do, mention something in their profile that caught your attention. Tell them why you related to that thing, and then ask a question, and that will increase the likelihood of them responding to you. Number three, after two or three exchanges, ask them if they would like to continue the conversation on the phone. If the answer is yes, proceed to a pre-date phone call and see if there's a good enough connection for a date. You want to get off text as soon as possible and hear their voice. I think this is so important. And if you're afraid to share your phone number, you can always do a burner phone or a Google Voice number, which will protect your identity and all your last name, all your information until you're ready to share it. Number four, before the first date, don't send texts every day. This is something that people get into so often and they're a stranger to you. You want to manage your expectations, their expectations. At this point, texting is really for logistics. When are you meeting? Are you confirming that you're still on? These are things that are appropriate for text, in my opinion, not to get to know that person more deeply through text. Number five, once you have been on a successful first date, then you can begin texting a little more often. But remember that texting is the worst way to get to know somebody, in my opinion. Voice to voice and person to person is best. So clarify to your date about how you like to stay in touch between dates. It's never too early to bring those things up, in my opinion. Number two, expressing relationship goals is something that's important to do early on. Many people are afraid to talk about what type of relationship they are seeking on the first few dates. I believe this is a subject that should come up as early as possible via text or on a first phone call. If you're not on the same page about relationship goals, it simply will not work and you need to move on. And if they say they are looking for the same thing as you, then it's your job to pay attention and make sure their actions and words align because talk is cheap and actions are everything. Number three, a secret to successful dating and early communication is letting them know your self-care boundaries. I believe it is never too early to express your boundaries around self-care. For example, if you don't want your potential match to call you after 10 p.m., let them know what time they can call until. Don't get pissed off if they call you when you haven't stated what works for you. If you exercise or meditate every day and they want to see you at a time that doesn't work for you, let them know what works better. If you're vegan and they want to take you out to a restaurant, let them know your dietary restrictions. So many people just 
are afraid to say, hey, I don't eat these foods or I only eat these foods. If you don't assert yourself around these self-care boundaries early on, you will be giving up what's important to you and that will lead to resentment. So take care of yourself. The fourth secret to successful dating and early communication is telling them about your pace in dating. When should you let someone know how fast or slow you like to develop a relationship? When should you let them know when you like to have sex? When should you have somebody come to your home? I think these are all conversations you need to have early on because if somebody asks you out on a second date and says, come to my house for dinner, you need to know what your standards are and you need to communicate it. Somebody wants to pick you up for a date, you need to let them know. Some will ask you on a first date that doesn't feel safe to you, like a hike. No matter the connection you feel, this is a total stranger and you need to be safe. So express how you feel with a script that goes something like this. That sounds like a great idea if we hit it off after meeting for coffee or for ice cream or a smoothie or a drink, whatever it is that you like to do on a first date. When would you like to meet up? So you're stating what you want. You're starting with appreciation. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. The same thing goes for sex. Know what you need to feel safe. Do you need to be exclusive? Do you need monogamy? Do you need STI tests results to be shared? Ask for what you want and need before you become hot and heavy. So that's not on the first date, but a few dates in, if you feel that the physical relationship is getting stronger, state what you want and need before this person starts to move as fast as they want to. You have every right to say what works for you and see if they respect you. Step number five in successful dating communication early on is asking for clarity when you're confused. One of the biggest issues that I have seen in early dating is making assumptions about what a person meant and not asking for clarity. You begin to make up stories and you can even abruptly end things because of misunderstandings. So to avoid this, I advise getting curious and asking, what did you mean? You'll hear their thoughts versus your internal dialogue, which is often not correct. Clarity also calms your nervous system. Even if their answer isn't what you're hoping for, you will be calm after you know the truth. So mastering good communication is essential for building a successful and fulfilling relationship. And with these five tips that I've shared, you can navigate the complexities of communication with confidence. The next time you find yourself wondering how to text your crush or how to have a meaningful conversation with your date, remember these five invaluable insights. By implementing these strategies, you will be well on your way to your last first date. So if you do want to improve your communication skills even further, I invite you to join my communications course. We dive deep into these topics and so much more. And we begin on May 1st, 2024. And registration ends on Sunday, April 28th at midnight. I have just a few spots left. So if you're interested, join us at lastfirstdate.com forward slash comcourse. And if you see this video after the registration has ended, please sign up for the waitlist and we will notify you when the course is taught again.